in Philadelphia, the smoke sits heavy. It's hanging and only moving slowly across a vast part of the northeastern United States. And this is where it's been worst through the day. At the city's airport, flights were paused for a few hours. Visibility was so poor. And don't assume this is just cloud. Were it not for the smoke, this would have been a blue sky day. <laughs> Within the city itself, though, it's harder to see that the air is quite so bad. On rocky steps, the city officials' advice to stay indoors had not filtered through. Are you worried? Does it overly concern you? Well, we did look into getting um, masks, the N95s, this morning, but we're not that worried. It look, actually, today looks better than yesterday, even though they said it's worse. Yeah. Um, you know, it's concerning, you know, when you see the air is not clean all the time, but, you know, what are you going to do about it? You could either stop your life, stop what you're doing, or, you know, just deal with it, so... I'm being careful. They don't care, so... <laughs> You're not too worried, sir. I'm not worried. I never smoked in my life, so I guess I'm smoking a little bit. But... <laughs> the striking thing is that you can smell and feel the heaviness of smoke produced by wildfires well over a 1,000 miles to the north of here. This is central Philadelphia, where the air quality index was well over 300 at one point. That is hazardous, and it is record-breaking. At the City Hall, the Health Commissioner live-streamed her update, spelling out the dangers. Well, the scale goes to 500, so this is terrible. Out of Philadelphia, north through New Jersey towards New York, the smoke persists. And this staggering Manhattan time-lapse shows what New Yorkers have experienced. Scientists have concluded it represents the worst air pollution for America in recent history. The scale of the cause, the source, is just staggering. From Canada's west coast to its east coast, forests are burning. The country is set for its worst year on record already, and we are far from being at the peak of the season. In British Columbia, Donny Creek is the second largest fire in the province's history, covering the equivalent of almost 450,000 football pitches, and it's growing. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has welcomed President Biden's pledge to send many more American firefighters north to help. But some fires will probably burn through the summer. In a time where our climate seems to be changing so fast, this is yet another hint that the consequences of extreme weather events impact well beyond where they hit. Mark Stone, Sky News in Philadelphia.